Hey, Tom Wiley here, and I'm here with my parents' tractor trying to put the PTO shaft back on after I just replaced uh, one of the yoke ends and universal joint on it, and uh, I couldn't get the shaft on. Uh, it was just stiff. It's a round shaft with a key in it, um, and it just wouldn't go on, and I didn't want to pound on the universal ears. I'll show you what's, um, what's going on. So here's the PTO shaft that I'm trying to slide onto that shaft for the implement. This is the a snow blower. And as you can see, there's see the shiny spot on the shaft? That's the distance that this yoke still needs to travel onto the shaft. So, and I couldn't get it to go, it was just stuck. The, there's a key over on this side. Uh, it's a little bit dark over here, but the key is almost disappearing into the yoke there and um, it just wasn't going on I put some some uh, lubrication in there it still wasn't going I didn't want to beat on these these yoke ears because I don't want to beat them up and mess mess up the next guy or myself when I have to change that bear those bearings I didn't really beating on here I didn't really want to do I put a, uh, a piece of wood in it and was hitting on the wood but then it would just you know lever out and it just it wasn't working so I needed a way to just draw it straight toward the machine, but there was nowhere to grip, nothing to hold on to. Um, so I finally realized that a ratchet strap I could put around the bolts that hold this gearbox in place. There's, uh, you know, there's a bolt head there, and there's a, a one down below. So I just strapped through there, went through the the yoke, through the ratchet. So, and it's working. I got it to budge um a couple times so it's getting closer i'm down to the last little bit so hopefully i'll be able to finish it here whoops yeah <laughs> well that was easy i didn't know i was i was that close to the the easy end but the ratchet strap strap helped i had to fix the ratchet strap because it kind of bent this stuff it was it was taxing this more than it's made for but it worked it helped me get the job done um well, you showed up just in time, just for the easy part. Now, of course, now this slides. I think there might be burrs on the end of the shaft because now it slides back and forth sort of easily and then catches right here at the end. But that's right where it, pretty much where it parks in use. So that makes sense that there's a little bit of burrs there. So now I'll put the bolt in here and this, the uh, screw that locks this, the key in place. So this bolt goes in, this bolt goes in right here, and then there's a lock nut on it. So it, it clamps down on that key and pr squeezes it into that keyway slot. Okay, so we'll turn that in and tighten it down, and then this nut here locks it so that it won't wiggle out. Then you have this shear pin here, that, or this, uh, this bolt, I think the the keyway is more keeping the shaft aligned with, you know, keeping the PTO shaft aligned with the implement shaft. This, the snowblower shaft, this bolt, I think more or less just keeps the, keeps the, uh, keeps it on, keeps this from falling off that way. This might need some persuasion. I don't want to do it too hard because I don't want to bugger up the threads. Okay. Yeah, all right. There we go. There was a 5 16 bolt in here when I found it. So it was pretty just loose flopping in there. So I went ahead and upgraded it to a 3 8 because that's what the hole is. So that's what it was obviously made for. We just had the wrong one in. And somewhere I had a nut. I just took it off, didn't I? There it is. All right, well, I'll tighten this up and get this thing running. So here's another use for ratchet straps. This is actually a more like a cinch strap. It's just a, a one-way um, device here so that you can pull the strap in to tighten it and it won't let it loosen until you 
push this release lever here. So I used this strap to hold the shaft up horizontal so that there wasn't any sideways stress on the, the universal joint end that I was just sliding onto the snowblower here. And now I'm connecting it up to the tractor and rather than juggling it and try to hold this heavy shaft up, up in the middle of the air um, by hand, I can just use the strap. You could use a ratchet strap or I can just use this cinch strap and if I pull uh, this one, it helps if I pull up on this strap while I'm pulling down here. It just helps make things easy. And shove this back in. There we go. Let's get this lined up a little bit more. If I go extra, pull it up a little bit extra, and then as I there we go, get it so you can see this end. I can go up a little extra and then let it out, let the strap out some, and it'll come down to where I want it to be. Get that lined up. There we go. There. Almost there. There, quick release clicked in place. Okay, now we're hooked up and ready to go. And obviously, especially on something like this, where we're gonna have this rotating shaft, make sure you take the strap off before you fire it up. Things could get uh, really busy really fast if you had a strap on a live PTO shaft. <laughs> So if you want to see more quick tips, uh, especially when they're that easy, uh, subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something um, or just to encourage me. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys next time.